Hi TK friends, I'm all in my PJs because I'm ready to read you a bedtime story tonight. But before I read it to you, I want you to make something with me to get ready for the story. Our book is called Bear Snores On and we're gonna make a cave for all of the characters in the story so that when we tell the story, you could tell it alongside with me. So what I, you need to do is you have your paper bag. I need you to cut it. Cut the end off, the end that's open. And then you're gonna take actually your crayon and you're gonna take some brown and I'm just gonna color to make this look like it's a cave. black so far here this is what I'm doing now I'm gonna add some black okay now when you open it up it looks like this but we're gonna make it look like a cave so I'm gonna do a little opening and take my scissors and I'm going to cut a little curve out of my cave. So then it stands up. So now we have the cave. Okay. I'm going to move it a little bit back so you can see it. Okay. So now, once you have your cave all made, we're ready to start the story. So let's begin. You also have two sheets of characters and you just cut them out to get them ready for the story. And I like to spread them out so that I could see them as I'm telling the story. Bear Snores On, written by Karma Wilson and illustrated by Jan Chapman. In a cave in the woods, in his deep, dark lair, through the long, cold winter sleeps a great brown bear. Cuddled in a heap with his eyes shut tight, he sleeps through the day, he sleeps through the night. So here's my bear that's sleeping. And I'm gonna put it in my cave book down for a minute so I could get him in my cave. With his eyes shut tight, he sleeps through the day, he sleeps through the night. The cold winds howl and the night sounds growl, but the bear snores on. An itty bitty mouse pitter pat tiptoe creep crawls in the cave from the fluff cold snow. Okay, find your mouse. Mouse squeaks, too damp, too dank, too dark. So he lights wee twigs with a small, hot spark. The coals pip pop and the wind doesn't stop, but the bear snores on. Two glowing eyes sneak peek in the den Mouse cries, who's there? And a hare hops in. Ho, mouse, says hare, long time no see. So they pop white corn and they brew black tea. Get your next character. Put the hare in the cave. Mouse. 
Mouse sips. We slurps. Hare burps. Big burps. But the bear snores on. A badger scuttles by, sniff snuffs at the air. I smell yummy yums, perhaps we could share. I've brought honey nuts, badger says with a grin. Let's divvy them up, cozy down, and dig in. This is the badger. And they nibble and they munch with a chew, chomp, crunch. But the bear snores on. A gopher and a mole. Tunnel up through the floor. Then a wren and a raven flutter in through the door. Put that in your cave. Mole mutters, what a night, what a storm, twitters Wren, and everybody clutters in the great bear's den. They tweet and they titter, they chat and they chitter, but the bear snores on. In a cave in the woods, a slumbering bear sleeps through the party in his very own lair. Look at them inside the cave. See how they're all inside our cave? Hare stokes the fire, mouse seasons stew. Then a small pepper fleck makes the bear go hot chew. He blows and he sneezes and the whole crowd freezes. Achoo! And the bear wakes up. Bear gnarls and he snarls. Bear roars and he rumbles. Bear jumps and he stomps. Bear growls and he crumbles. So you have one more. This is the character when bear wakes up. You're snuck in my lair and you've all had fun, but me, I was sleeping and I've had none. And he whimpers and he moans and he wails and he groans and the bear blubbers on. Mouse squeaks, don't fret, don't fuss. Look, see, we could pop more corn. We could brew more tea. Uh-oh. Bear gulps, bear gobbles, he sighs with delight. Then he spins tall tails through the blustery night. When the sun peeks up on a crisp, clear dawn, bear can't sleep. Look at him with all his friends. But his friends snore on. Now his friends have fallen asleep. The end. I hope, friends, that you enjoyed this bedtime story and I hope you have fun creating your cave. You can make it any way you want or you could use the paper bag that I gave you and you could tell the story while I'm reading it to you. Okay, friends, good night.